What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to speed up your internet connection on Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, search for delivery optimization in your taskbar search to open up your delivery optimization system settings window. Here, navigate to advanced options. You will then be able to specify the amount of bandwidth that Windows can use for core tasks such as download limits, updates, and overall network usage limits. Next, search for data update to open up your data usage system settings window. Here, when selecting view usage per app, you will be able to preview how much of your bandwidth is used per application on your system. It should help you figure out which process to prevent in order to reduce the traffic on your bandwidth. When this is done, we will make one more change to your Windows settings. Search for Background Apps and here make sure that most of the applications are not allowed to run in the background, as these could use up your available bandwidth. You can then close this window and delete your temporary files. Search for Percentage Temp Percentage and hit Enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, which should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. Next, I suggest making sure that your connection issues are not hardware based. To test your connection, visit speedtest.net. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. A normal up and download speed, which is usually above 3 MB per second, is crucial to your OS and web browsing to work properly. Make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. When this is done, open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. The next two commands are listed in the description below. Ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the content of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command will in any case improve your latency issues. You can then exit out of your command prompt and open up your task manager. Here. Navigate to your resource monitor, as you can see in the video. In the Network tab, open the processes with network activity. And after a few seconds, you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below. You can also preview your network utilization in percent. Lastly, we will change your DNS server address, in case the issue is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R or search for run in your taskbar search. In this dialog box, enter control and hit enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet network and sharing center, and here select your connection. This will open up this window, containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties, and lastly, double click the Internet Protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses option, and as your preferred DNS server use 8888, and as your alternate DNS server use 8844. These are the official public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.